Oh, maybe I need the light a little bit more. <laughs> Good morning, guys, and welcome to a very early start on Supercars of London. We are here in the Marbella Country Club Hotel, I think. We're heading to breakfast. It is around 6.30 because we need to be ready for our flyboarding session, which picks us up at 8 o'clock. So we're going to head in, have breakfast. Hopefully the lighting gets a little bit better. And I've got all of my gear and equipment in my rucksack. So we're going to have an epic morning. And then we're driving from here up to Barcelona, which is a hell of a long drive, over 10 hours. So me and Sam better eat breakfast. Let's go. More juice, smoothies. Selection of elderly. Really? Huh? All this. Oh, wow. Sam has decided to pick his camera up for this trip. <laughs> I'm finally doing some work. Video number one begins. Hello one and all, welcome to Scene 3 Class. And we have made it. We came down in the Ford People Carrier, which is right there. And I just missed the beautiful morning sunlight that's over there. We're getting blocked by this white room. So hopefully we're gonna get out onto the boat and get there as quick as we can. The moon's still up. But this is uh, pretty awesome. How are you finding this, Sam? Whoa! Here he is. I'm totally fine. It's just Sam so hates the sea. Glad we're on a big ship liner that doesn't feel old or wooden at all. Trying to work out a way in which I can Photoshop my head onto him, so it makes me look awesome. And we are all going to be having a go at this, so <laughs> wish me luck.
well, I'm now dried and well, we, but we both are. That was so much fun. So good. And I didn't get so in my way. So, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, huge thank you to uh, well Ford and Frankie for this incredible experience. I want to go flyboarding more. Yeah, yeah, I, I want one. I want one. That can be really I don't have for the a source of I don't have a source of water. A jet ski. <laughs> Or the budget. <laughs> yeah, all, all the budget, but uh, it's so much fun. Now it's time to jump in the Ranger and I suppose embark on our what? Ten hour? Yeah. Ten hour drive I've got up all to the, the energy in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily we've got an auto, so we don't have to worry about the manuals and the pedals because that was a hard work on our legs and feet. But I do leg day, so it's fine for me. Yeah. Cool, cool. Sadly, we have to say goodbye to Marbella. I'm back, I've showered and I have packed. I think the most difficult thing that is gonna be over the next seven to 10 days is not actually spending time with Sam. It is um, actually just living out of a suitcase that I can't really unpack because every night is somewhere different until we get to Geneva and then we're there for three days. So it's gonna be a real relief when we get to Geneva. So we're gonna jump in the Ranger now. Into the Ranger. Oof. Water everywhere. We've got water everywhere. Ford have massively kitted us out. We've got Health lunch. Star, We've healthy lifestyle. Oh yeah, real food, organic market. I think they went to Marks and Spencer's as well, so we have got everything that we need for this 10 hour trip. <laughs> Apart from probably no, our, a, our attention span. This is so comfy though, I'm literally <laughs> gonna. Yeah, yeah, this, th you couldn't really pick a better place to be. Automatic gearbox, we're just gonna cruise on up. Such a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> Vertically. <laughs> yeah. Four wheel high. Yep, we're away. <laughs> right, let's go. Half an hour in to our drive and we are going along the coastal motorway. It is really nice. We've got the sea to our right. If you want to pan the, the camera around, cameraman. Sam is how most people know you. And um, I've got what Sam has told me is Radar adaptive cruise control. Radar guided. Radar guided adaptive, adaptive cruise, cruise control. control. There we go. I yeah. don't know if that's what Ford call it, but that is functionally what it is. Okay, and basically it reads the car in front and <clears throat> I almost lost my voice there. So I've set this I've set the normal cruise control to 80 kilometers per hour, which is the speed limit on this road. But if I'm getting too close to the car in front because that's going down, uh, slowing down for some reason, then the car will always maintain the same distance from the car in front, which is genius. So I don't particularly need to use the pedals. My feet need to be covering the pedals, or otherwise that's just unsafe driving. But at the moment, I'm just steering the car. So we'll see how long we can go with that because this is the ultimate dream. We've got 20 degrees sunshine outside, beautiful stacks of food. We are plowing through the south of Spain. We haven't even got to um, Malaga yet, but it, we've reduced our time by 20 minutes of arrival in Girona. Woohoo! I'm trying to keep myself awake <laughs> because... <laughs> I don't want to do our floor. <laughs> For the last sort of two, two and a half hours, we've been pootling along and just thoroughly enjoying the comfort, the size of the vehicle, the fuel economy of this vehicle is insane. We probably used about an eighth of a tank and done, well, well over nearly 300 kilometers. So it is definitely, definitely a good, um, well, it's long distance cruiser. A, long, a good long distance cruiser. Yeah, you're starting to get tired yeah. on you. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. It is now time for me to sit this side. So I am getting in to the passenger seat. Oh yes, and now I can relax. I'm gonna quickly flip this screen out so that I can see what I'm filming. Yes, finally, what is the time? I have no idea what the time is. Um, it is 20 to four, 20 to four, and we've got about seven hours left. So this is a long journey, not too much that's gonna be exciting. Once we get to the hotel, it's gonna be around midnight. I need to edit this video and then go to bed. I think we've got a relatively late start, 10 or 11 a.m. tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to at least trying to get some sleep. And then we're driving up towards the center of France. So now it is my turn to have a bit of a nap. What's up guys? I feel like I'm starting the video again, but three hours later, was I asleep for three hours? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I think, you, I think you tweeted a picture of me asleep as well. I did, yeah. Great. I had nothing else to do. <laughs> anyway, 
before I fell asleep, I did something pretty useful, which was plug in uh, hotel details to Google Maps on my phone. And um, the sat nav was going to take us via Madrid, which on Google Maps said it was an hour and 20 minutes slower. So we've managed to shave about an hour off, which means we are going to be getting in to Girona and our hotel at around 11 p.m., which I think was the most useful thing I could have done. All yeah, day. yeah, it's the best thing you've ever done. Then actually. I fell asleep. <laughs> oh, well, I've learned that my camera's not the best at night time. Anyway, we have arrived. It is half past 11. The ranger's here. Sam is emptying stuff. You cannot see him. You cannot see me. So I'm going to sign off as quick as possible.